animal shelters across the upstate are over capacity. One shelter tells us they have nearly double the number of dogs and that they're capable of housing. 7 News' Chloe Salsamated tells us how you can help. Anderson County Paws only has room for 65 dogs, but right now they have more than 100 and all of them need homes. The kennels at Anderson County Paws are full. Right now we are over capacity. Last count we had 112 large dogs in the facility. We have about 65 holding kennels for that space, so we have a lot of dogs doubled up. It's a difficult situation for both the staff and the dogs. It's a lot more stressful on the dogs themselves when you have that many in the facility. Dr. Kim Sanders is the director and veterinarian here. She says the shelter has been over capacity before, but this time it's different. In the past, we always had rescue groups that we could reach out to. We sent tons of dogs up north or just different rescue partners even. At this point, we're not really sending dogs up north anymore. Adoptions are slow across the country, and so that really affects us nationwide. Dogs are coming in from many different homes and environments. Over the weekend, we had two separate cruelty cases, um, so we had multiple dogs brought in from homes in that, in that situation as well. Sanders and her team are urging the community to sign up to adopt a dog or even foster one. Just getting them out of the shelter for two weeks can make all the difference for that dog. And a lot of dogs get very stressed here, so in a home, they're able to decompress. It makes them a lot more adoptable. If you're unable to care for your own pet, Paws asks that you don't leave them at the shelter and instead find a safe new home on your own. The shelter exists to protect the public and to be a place for, you know, potentially dangerous animals or animals that are injured. So it's not just a place to come and dump off your own pets. The staff here also says they're in need of cat and dog food, as well as fleece blankets for the animals. In Anderson County, Chloe Salsmeda, 7 News.